Hello, um, I am making a video today <laughs> because I am house sitting with a friend for um, some like acquaintances and um, it's a cool house. It's really nice to like, you know, be in a different setting and stuff. Um, they have lots of cute animals and big garden and there's a bunny and a guinea pig and um, really adorable dog who spoons with me in the morning, <laughs> which is a treat. And um, pool, you know, a bunch of kale and squash and rosemary and thyme and all this stuff growing, so it's really nice. Um, but it's pretty funny <laughs> because um, when... Okay, so they also have chickens. Um, and they have lots... They have, like, I want to say somewhere between, like, eight and 15 or something, like a lot of chickens. Um, and when we were here kind of getting the rundown of, um, you know, how to do the whole routine with the yard and house and animals and everything, um, we were here for dinner and um, they're having a barbecue and they're really sweet about, like, they knew that, um, Myself and my friend and my mom all we all don't eat meat. My mom, they both eat fish. I don't. Yeah. Anyways, they <laughs> they were conscientious of that. Made us grill veggies and they clean the grill before um, for making them. And, you know, they're just they were really sweet about it. But there was still this like really funny irony. Um, of course, <laughs> there always is. And. Um, you know, we went out to go, like, see the chickens, and she was telling us, you know, how to take care of them, which of which ones of them are nice, which ones of them are more, you know, like, don't want to be touched and whatnot, and, um, and she, like, loves her chickens, and, um, you know, we we're talking about, like, how some of them get out sometimes, and, like, when it's okay for them to be out, and how to get them in at night so that, you know, predators don't get them. We have, like, coyotes and stuff out here. I guess we have more like foxes than coyotes, but def yeah, whatever. Anyways, um, you know, we were asking her, oh, do you like lose them often to foxes or dogs or whatnot? She was like, yeah, you know, like it's inevitable, like happens every once in a while. And we just, you know, we try not to get too sad about it, but you know, we always do a ceremony and like, you know, it's hard and it's sad and etc. Um, and then, you know, we finished, you know, doing our little tour through the barn and everything. And we come back and dinner's ready. You can, I'm sure you know where I'm going with this. And, um, and they were having chicken for dinner. I mean, they were having other things too. They're having cow and maybe shrimp. I don't remember. They're having a few things, but, um, and lots of delicious veggies that they made us, which was really sweet. But, you know, it's just funny. I mean, it's not funny. It's sad. It sucks. And it's just the only way to deal with it is to laugh. So that's why it's funny, even though it's not. Um, it's just, I mean, when you're vegan, like, those kind of things happen every single day. Um, people saying one thing or and and in many cases genuinely feeling that way too which is what you know makes it so so crazy because it's not just like people who are you know there are other ways in which people in their lives will say one thing and do the other and they're they know that they're doing it and they're know that they're you know consciously telling them you know fib <laughs> but when it comes to animals, animal um, exploitation, for the most part, people really, really, really just don't get it. Um, and either because they just really haven't thought about it at all, or because they really don't want to get it. <laughs> and that's um, quite often. Um, the case. In this case, I don't really know these people at all. I'm not going to like make a judgment on that in the slightest, but um, 
it just, you know, suffice it to say they love their chickens, but they still eat chicken. <laughs> um, it's funny because I know other people that have had pets um, that are usually ones that get eaten. And once they've gotten that pet, they're like, oh gosh, I just can't eat, you know, X, Y, or Z anymore. Um, so sometimes people get it, you know. And um, sometimes people don't. And uh, like I, I have a relative who has a pig. Um, she definitely hasn't gone vegan or anything, but I'm pretty sure that they don't eat bacon anymore. I don't know. Just, you know, there are definitely people that I've talked to that have pets, um, chickens, pigs, cows, goats, whatever, that then can't bring themselves to eat that one, one, just that one specific animal, really. But, you know, it's better than nothing. Um, yeah, interesting. Just, you know, one of those everyday things. <laughs> Never get old. Um... Yeah, I mean, any any vegan will tell you that people make a really, really big point of telling you they're an animal lover, but, you know, I'll be damned if they actually do anything about it. So, um, I don't know. Try, please. <laughs> Try to get it. Try to realize that your actions speak so much louder than your words. And if you actually give a shit about animals, um, you're not going to pay someone to slit their throats for you. Um, yeah, so that's what I wanted to say today. Um, there are a million other videos I've been wanting to make, but um, that's the only one that I felt really in the mood for at the moment. Um, so yeah, I hope that no one in your life is eating chicken in front of you <laughs> and telling you that they love their chickens. Um, anyways, have a nice evening. <laughs>